so you want to connect anything to Stable Diffusion, like Photoshop or a webcam. Hi, in this tutorial let's look at few examples on how to use Stable Diffusion in Touch Designer. First, install all necessary components, then look at some basic example for generating images and how we can increase generation speed. And we'll also build a simple interface. Let's start. If you haven't installed Touch Designer yet, download the latest version. The free version will have a limit on image size, but that's enough for us. Then download the Comf UI, which contains everything you need to work in Stable Diffusion. Also install Comf UI Manager. Stable Diffusion models will be required to generate the images. They can be found, for example, on Civit AI website. Copy the model to the folder ConfUI Models Checkpoints. Also download various auto encoder and copy it to the appropriate folder. Start ConfUI. Download updates. Install additional nodes to connect Stable Diffusion and Touch Design. Restart Comfy UI. Let's check that the image generation is working. Take a ready-made workflow and simply move it to the Comfy UI window. Select a checkpoint, double-click to bring up the node menu, and select VAA Loader. Connect it to encode and decode. And click Q prompts. We've got the generated image. Now we need to connect the touch design. This requires a slight modification to the workflow. In order to send images to ConfUI, we add load image base64 node at the very beginning. And in order to send images to Touch Designer, we add the send image WebSocket node at the very end. Now you need to save the workflow and load it into Touch Designer. To do this, enable Dev Mode option in the settings. And save it in a API format. Download the TD Comfy UI component. It allows you to open Comfy UI projects in Touch Designer. Open Touch Designer. Add a company to the project, add the workflow file to the project, and connect it. All parameters from ConfUI will appear on the workflow tab. Let's add a picture. Press tab and select Move File In. Set it to the desired resolution using Fit node. Set the resolution. Create null at the end. And add a source for generation. Add null after tdconf UI. Click Generate and get a new image. Let's try it with a webcam. Add a video device node in. Select a webcam. and plug it instead of the picture.
click generate. You can also enable stream, so image will be generated continuously. And the question you probably have, how can we speed this up? To do this, you need to download an additional model and copy it to the folder ComfyUI Models Loras. Go to ComfyUI, add the Lora node. Press refresh and connect as shown in the video. Save in API format. Add new file to touch designer. Change settings. Turn on stream. You can also control the parameters in real time. Let's go to the Photoshop example. Now I need to install OBS and the OBS Pout plugin. Pout allows programs to share texture from video memory. And if there is no plugin for your software, you can use OBS, which is what we are about to do. In Photoshop, create a new document and set the resolution. In OBS, capture the window, go to the filters and customize crop. Add the spout filter. Go to touch design and add spout in node. And here is Photoshop canvas. Now I need to crop it by alpha. To do this, download the ready-made component and add it after the spout node. Let's put together a simple interface to make it easy to draw. Create container and select resolution. Drag null after tdconf UI on container. Select background. Set alignment. Create a button that will be enable stream generation. And connect it to container. Create Null after the button. 
press A on the keyboard and pull it over on stream. Select Chop Reference. Create window. And drag container. Select window operator. In the parameters, select always on top. Then set as perform window. And press F1 to switch to perform mode. Press stream and start drawing. You can use escape to exit to the editor. We've covered the simplest examples of stable diffusion integration in Touch Designer. Of course, you can do more complex workflows with ControlNet or other extensions, which will hopefully open up space for any ideas you may have. Thanks for watching.